Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to talk about chopsticks. So chopsticks, they are just cutlery or maybe a weapon. What do you think? For this question I will try to answer in this video. So as we know chopsticks are used as cutlery in Asian countries. But not only, chopsticks can be also a weapon. So I have a three different types of chopsticks. Uh, these ones are from wood. I have uh, two aluminium ones and those are from iron. I make them by myself and they are really heavy. So probably they're going to be the most dangerous. And yeah, I'm going to try to throw them to different targets so we can see how good they are. So let's get started. So before we start it, I'm going to show you how to hold the chopstick. The technique is quite simple. You have to put chopstick in this place, hold by your thumb and put chopstick between your index finger and middle finger. So it looks like this. Of course you can also hold like this but I recommend you doing like this on the beginning later you can do how how you like you have to remember when you're throwing you have to try to throw your chopstick directly straight without any spinning especially from the close distance when you go further it's better make with half spin but on the beginning try to throw directly straight to your target. Okay, so on the beginning you should try to throw your chopstick to the ground and stick it in. And after this you can try to throw to the wall or tree or something else. So let's get try. You can try to throw 10 times in the road that the chopstick stick in and after this I think you can try to move to next exercise when you throwing to the tree or to the wall or to different target which is staying in front of you not on the ground. So let's try it again. So as you see, this technique is working, so now we're going to try to, to throw to another target. The next target is uh, this turban head and I'm going to try it first with wooden sticks, later with aluminium sticks and the last one is going to be iron sticks. So you can see how good they are. Let's get started. They are not so good, but we try again. Okay, so this was wooden chopstick and now we're going to try to with aluminium so next one one more time and now with the ear yes So how you can see aluminium chopsticks are much better. So now it's time for iron chopsticks. How you could see that the wooden chopsticks they are they wasn't so good, but I will try to sharp one so we can see uh, if this is going to be better or not. So, so now looks much better and much sharper so maybe now it's gonna be better okay so now when the chopsticks are more sharp now it's more dangerous than before and yeah I think the wooden chopsticks are really light compared to this iron one and iron one they can stick almost everywhere so yeah, I will now move the camera closer. So 
So how you can see, these chopsticks are quite effective, but how I thought that the heaviest one, they are the best. If you have to throw something, I recommended this aluminium ones or iron one. I think you can also use pick nails, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's try to another target. So our next target going to be this battle with water. So let's try it now. I think I'm going to try already with iron one. How you can see the iron chopsticks, they are really good. Okay, so now is the time to try to throw to the wood. Now I have to go and find some wood where it's quite clean around him so I can find them. So let's go. So I found my new target. It's going to be this tree over there. Uh, actually this falling tree. Actually maybe just wood. <laughs> and yeah, I think before I try to throw uh, these wooden chopsticks, I want to make them sharp again. So now look much better. So let's try it. They are too light. What about the aluminium one? They are also too light and they are not sharp on the end, so it's difficult to stick to this wood. But now we try with, with my iron ones. If you want to throw it, you have to use only iron ones here because this. Aluminium ones are not sharp, so it's difficult to stick in, and this wood one is too light. So let's try it again with iron ones. This one actually go pretty deep, and one of my chopsticks bound a little. This one was close one to hit me. So now I will try to throw with half spin, so I have to grip from the top. So when I'm throwing, it's going to make half spin and hit the target. You can also do the same exercise what we did before about throwing 10 times on the road. So you can try to see how good you are. One. Okay, and, and now we have to start from the beginning. So now you know the game, you can try to do this by yourself 10 times on the road and you can go and try something else, example like spin throw. Ta -da. <laughs> have fun with this. So we just go and whoop and it's done, yeah. If you wanna throw to some really soft targets, the aluminium ones are really good. You can buy them in the shop, they are really cheap. Not that cheap that the wood ones, but they are still cheap. Yes, so this is it, and yep, yeah, I think the wooden ones, they are not so good with throwing to some hard target, but they are good for practicing and throw to the ground, so if you, like this video comment below and you can leave some likes also subscribe me and yeah thank you for watching and see you next time